Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. We're moving on to the rest of the Pat McGrath. I swear, this may be one of the largest collections. And I'm trying to think if all of her collections are like this. I mean, I understand launching like a lot of blushes and a lot of bronzers and stuff. Because, you know, colors for different people. Kind of get that. But, like, there's just a lot. I, I'm not going to lie. Now, does most normal people in their right mind order all of it? No. No. But am I in my right mind? No. No. No, I'm not. But it just seems like a little too much. But at the same time, I'm like, well, she does have just different price points and different palettes for different people and what different people prefer so maybe it's just me because I ordered it all that it seems like so much but in reality it's not like I don't know I just I don't know it just seems like because I'm like wow it really is going to be a full week of just the Pat McGrath just to thoroughly review one time each thing and I'm like that seems like a lot and I didn't even order like the blushes or the mascaras I mean these palettes have blushes some of them but I don't know maybe it's just me needless to say don't am I upset no because I really like it <laughs> y'all I really do so yesterday's palette I really really like the look I got right today and I thought yesterday's palette would be my favorite right because it's just different it's a little different it's a little different but I don't know y'all like I'm living right now like I was like ooh, I like how everything turned out I think I need to put my earrings in and get my necklaces let's just go all out you know because like I mean that is gorgeous right but the eye but I am in love with the blush okay hear me out do I have this color I don't know I don't know but when I put it on I was like ooh okay so I put a little bit more on I was like oh okay okay and the color I'm referring to and, and I, I will say I wasn't expecting it it's called desert amber I don't well maybe 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 it's this one right here now when I look at it maybe maybe now this I already have this is paradise venus which i i love this shade okay but this one here i don't have but it kind of reminded me a little bit of desert orchid and a little bit there's another one it kind of reminded me of right but again like these tones go so well with the shadows too like i think it's the whole thing i'm wearing the bronzer in pavograph also in bronze dawn so like I've got all of her cheek stuff on and the highlighter is the one I got for free which I am loving for my skin tone golden moonlight all right so this blush I, I said that flirtatious was probably my number one blush and then number two would have been um the one from yesterday uh nymphette Okay, now I didn't wear an infant yesterday, I don't think. No, I tried the newer one, the Coral Cosmos, which I like that color. But this one, Desert Amber, and I'm wondering if she'll come out with these in singles. Not that I need them. Not that I need them. But I'm just curious because if I could definitely see myself using this blush quite often, even this shadow palette quite often, because it's really on the neutral side of things. Now, at the same time, will I? Because it is a limited edition, and I don't want to use up her stuff because I can't get it again. Maybe not. But, maybe, maybe. Because if I did have to travel, like, I could take this and the single of the highlighter and bronzer and be completely happy. I could take the other one and be pretty happy, too. I can take any of her palettes and be pretty happy. But that's beside the point. But the mirror in it is, like, amazing, like, this mirror is like 
I mean, it's perfect. And, like, it sits up by itself. So, you know, like, it's really, it's got a nice lean to it. So, I mean, it's, it's really a nice mirror, to be honest. Um, again, the packaging, mm, it's all right. It's not my favorite, but it's all right. Does it seem a little cheap? I mean, it's cardboard. Is it, you know what I mean? But it's not like cheap cardboard either, you know? But anyway, let's get started. So I went through that. My lip, oh, I also got the new Natasha Denona palette today, which lots of thoughts. Okay, first off, FedEx, can, why can nobody deliver to my house? I'll never know. I'll get to that in a minute. But I got this new lip liner too. I got it in Renee. And I'm wearing it. And then in the middle of my lip, I put this shade Daphne. And I think they look really pretty together. Hmm. Anyway, something new there. Um, but let's get started and then I'll tell you about everything. Okay, so the first shade we're going to go into is just this basic brown right here. We're going to start with it. All right, so FedEx. First off, UPS. Y'all, I don't know if you heard the story the last time. I had several packages, right? And I watched the UPS guy drive up to my house. And if you've heard this, I do apologize you're hearing this story again because it irritated me. Anyway, I could see him outside my window and then he puts, cannot deliver, no address, can't find address. You're sitting in front of my house. I have a huge sign in my front door even that has my address, right? Can't find it. Okay, fine. So, I'm irritated then, right? So, as a smart butt that I am, because I can be that way. I'm not proud of it, but I can get, I can be petty. I had my fiance spray paint my address on my driveway at the bottom of my driveway, right? So when they come back through, they can find my address. Because I, I want to make it as easy as can be, mind you, okay? Now, I will say with the USPS, I don't have any issues. Now, is that, that could be because, for the most part, the, my mailman, love him. Know him personally. Known him since I was probably, goodness gracious, 7, 18? 19 probably since I was 19 so I've known him for quite a long long time right cool now I don't ever have any issues if something's coming through that now like I said now he's not always my mailman but for the majority he is and he's wonderful he brings my packages to my front door like he's amazing anyway but I also know him personally but UPS I had this problem. I've never had a problem with FedEx. If anything, usually with FedEx, right, if I'm not home because most of my FedEx deliveries I have to sign for, it just goes back to the FedEx place and I have to go get it after six. Again, I don't have a problem with that because I'm still going to get it within that day, right? We're going to go into this shade right here, this purpley shade now. Well, today I watched FedEx come up. Now, mind you, I still have spray painted at the bottom of my driveway my address just saying and what do they do they deliver it they take a proof of delivery and I'm like that's not my house nowhere that's not my front door that's not my side door that's not the extra buildings I have on my property's doors like I'm like what it's a neighbor they deliver it to my neighbor's house. Now, they had to walk to his house. So, as they're walking up his driveway, my driveway is right here. And they don't realize that it's got spray paint at 1725. My address. Like, they don't see the big numbers. I'm like, how is that even possible? Oh, it's possible. Because they did it. Like, I'm like, I don't know how to make it any easier. To get my packages. Now. It's just makeup. It's not that deep. It's not like it's my medication. It's not like it's. Something that's a. Great need. 
But when you pay out the money you pay out for whatever it is, it's like, why can they not get it right? And like I said, UPS is usually my arch nemesis with everything. Because like I order, I order everything online, but I really order like my water. Like I only, y'all, I don't even know what to do. Like I only drink Propel Peach water. That's the only water I drink. I cannot drink regular water to save my life. I can't put packets. I can't put stuff in it. I've tried it all, right? I used to be a big, like, Diet Mountain Dew drinker or Diet Coke and stuff. And I realized, like, when I, I lost probably 100 pounds once I stopped drinking pop, right? So, obviously, you know, I don't want to go back to that. But I can't order my Propel off Amazon anymore. And I mean, I ordered cases and cases of it. Now, I understand that sex to have to deliver that. I do. It's heavy. Because Amazon puts two cases, which is two 12 packs, a bottle, two 12 bottles, you know what I'm saying, in a box, and they have to carry it. That's heavy. I know it's heavy because I have to carry it into the house. But they'll put all sorts of stuff just so they don't have to deliver it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, why? Like, I'm okay with if somebody came to my house and was like, I can't do this. Can you get it? I'd get it. Because I'm the one that ordered it. I would go out and get it. Rather than them saying, can't be delivered, or deliver it somewhere else, or maybe they don't even deliver it at all. You know what I mean? Like, anything. But, I don't know what I'm going to do when I can't get Because I can't even get find my peach water now. And I'm getting low. I'm down to my, my last six cases and I'm getting concerned I do like I can I can drink the propel grape it's not my favorite though but like every time like I find a water I like it it goes away I really like the fruituo in raspberry that is my favorite water but they discontinued it or they quit selling around here anyway I can't find it and then and I only, usually I only like, like, one flavor from every, from whatever it is I'm drinking, you know? Now, with the Propel, I do like the grape somewhat. But peach is still my favorite. But, yeah, that was the experience today. And I'm just, like, I'm just going to put up a big old board. Like, build something that has 1725 on it. Because apparently those numbers must be hard to see. Because I have it in my door. A big old piece of paper that just says 1725. I put the numbers on my. Like the actual like number numbers. On my house. That don't help. I spray paint in my driveway. That don't help. Like I don't understand. And you would think. With the amount of times they have to deliver to my house. They would figure it out anyway just because like you're they're here so much because I get a lot of deliveries I mean obviously you all are seeing stuff being reviewed so how else would I get it I'm sure not leaving the comfort of my home and going to fight through trying to see if somewhere around here has it because chances are they don't I'm going to take that same purple shade and run it under the lower lash line I apologize if you can hear like mowing and um what is it called weed whacking i don't know what it's called weed eating is that it what is it i don't know they're out there doing the grass i was like how why the other day you turn your bass up on your truck so loud that everything's shaking now today you want to do this while i'm filming but whatever i'm not going to knock it because i'm not going out there and doing it it's too cold like, it dropped in temperature so quick, it's not even funny. Like, I was just not even prepared for that at all. Which I'm glad, you know, because I can put a coat on. Or a jacket or something, you know. I'd rather it be on the colder side than on the warmer side, personally. I don't like to sweat. I mean, I do, like, if I'm working out or something. But that's not happened in quite some time. I need to get back on that.
Okay. For my waterline, I used the Hocus Pocus um, Trick or Treat, the purple one. I think it worked pretty well with this look. All right. Now, we're going to go into this pretty color right here. Oh, I forgot to swatch this. Oh, no. All right. We're going to go into this color right here. And it's like a purple, pink shift, like it looks purple, but then there's definitely pink in it. It's really, really pretty. But I gotta be very easy because you will get fallout. No, you can spray it and that will save you a good bit of fallout. Or put a glitter glue or even use her thing but I'm lazy number one and number well I would use hers hers is pretty easy to use but some people don't have it so I don't want to do anything that somebody you know because these things aren't cheap so I want you to see exactly how they perform but look, this is so pretty again using my rougher brushes which I usually always use natural hair brushes when using her formula. Uh oh, I think they hit something. But can you see that shift? Like it's purple but pink, but kind of even looks black. I don't know. It's so pretty though. I like it a lot. I like that color. Nothing revolutionary, but I do like it nonetheless. And I don't think I got any fallout now. I didn't get any fallout with this color either on the other side. Now I did it a little bit with this next shade, but I kind of figured I would. Okay, so we're going to go into this shade right here. I'm going to tap it off a little bit. And we're just going to pop that in the inner corner. And I'm going to sort of push it more than anything because, like I said, there is fallout. That's a pretty color, too. eyes are the same I kind of did it simple today because I feel like that's what these palettes are about Sim simple like elegant but simple because I mean everything's like there the blushes are there and again you can use the blushes as shadows too if you wanted to I've done that before so it is possible all right so for mascara we're going to use the Pat McGrath the only thing I don't understand, and it could just be me, is the new colored mascaras. I don't know how they would go with these palettes. Like, I don't know how a red or a green would fit in with these colors. And that could just be a me thing. I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't see what makeup artists see, probably. But I don't understand how those are supposed to fit in. I kind of was hoping she would come out with a purple and a brown like a really chocolatey brown I think that would have been pretty but nope I didn't get my wish I really would like to see a purple though But this look looks very like just simple and it didn't take long to do it was easy to do I didn't have any issues but 
I would say this is definitely more your neutral palette if you want it that where the other one's got a little bit of pop but this does have a purple but then a lot of her shadows have purples in them I'm not gonna lie But for me, the blushes are just gorgeous that she chose for these palettes. And I'm not a fan of doing, like, you know, for the price tag, obviously I wish it was all new. But at least the blushes she chose, I feel like, are very popular brush blushes and very, like, I like them. I don't mean everybody likes them, but... I feel like it's a popular color she chose for it and regardless of that even like it goes with the color story itself which is helpful because if you're not a makeup artist you really sometimes it's hard to figure out like what what would look good what would look cohesive like what blush would go with an eye look what lip would go with an eye look you know what I mean at least I find that it's hard like I'm always like does that color go or is it too much too little like you know what I mean but I feel like the colors go well with the looks that you could get out of the palette no matter what route you went I'm using the MAC extended play on the bottom lashes And I think overall this look just looks beautiful. I feel very put together. I feel even though the lid is a little bit darker than what I tend to go for. It still didn't take like I still feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Like it's not too much. It's. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I'm out of words for you. Um, it's like it's it's darker but not to the ex extent of I don't feel comfortable with my own skin the looks not wearing me I'm wearing the look in a way even though the lid is darker I do think I could pop that inner corner shade in the middle of my lid to sort of lighten it up I could possibly even throw maybe this pink here on it but I don't want to take away from the fact that it's kind of like a pinky purple black shade like it's just different I don't want to touch the different you know what I mean I don't want to make it more different it's already different all by itself and I like it like that so overall I no bad things to say so with that said let me hurry up and swatch this palette for y'all I meant to do it before filming because I hate to take up so much time I know I know. I mean, I just, I don't know how I forgot, to be honest. Ooh, that is pretty, though. Actually, that looks like a shade that's already existing. You know what? I wonder if some of these shades are already existing. Out of curiosity. Whoa. Don't fall. Oh, okay. Now, this palette, though, the other palette didn't really go that dark either I will say that it stayed more on the lighter neutral side this one definitely has a darker shade in it Ooh, stain in my fingers oh no here we go I need a towel I'm gonna drop everything is what I'm gonna do all right but yeah I don't I mean they're pretty though That purple that I used a second ago, that could definitely be built up too, just so you know. You could get a bronzy look, or copper look. You could get a gold. 
We can go more gold. More purple, more pinky. Like, you've got colors in here for sure that you could do. And again, I think the blushes would go with every shade. No matter which way you decided to go with it. Yeah, see, that does have like a... Is it a purple base or is it a, a black? I can definitely see the pink in it. But it may have a purple or like a... um purple base instead of black and it just looks that dark I don't know it's just different well it's not that different but you get what I'm saying and again love the two blushes I know for you know I, the one I'm wearing today like that is gorgeous and I already have the other one in my collection already so I'm happy with the choices that she did give us but to each their own and I would say that like I'm wondering like maybe deeper darker because I mean she's got to think about that too like she chooses a blush for like light to medium and then medium to dark skin tones maybe is how she went I don't know I just know she did fantastic I mean criticize what she wants the palettes kind of look the same sometimes but with that said they're still fantastic palettes like nowhere is it's not bad formulas you know you may not like the color story it may be repetitive but no the formula is good in them all right so here are the shadows swatched from the very first one. I used that for my inner corner, and I used that to start with. And then I deepened up the outer corner with that shade. No, this shade, this dark shade right here. And then I put that on the lid. But that's the rest of the shades. And it's really pretty, like different ways you could go too. But this shade right here, this looks like it's familiar to me. Pearl Nectar. I'm thinking of something, but I don't think it is that. I'm thinking of something, though. Nectar something. I don't know. And then Desert Amber and Paradise Venus. So that's the Desert Amber, which is what I'm wearing on my cheeks. And then that's the Paradise Venus. And I mean they're beautiful blushes you all they really are I like her formula it is pigmented and it, it can be hard to blend but I'll be honest I use this brush right here refer 05 and like I just sort of you know go like this with it and it this brush does the work for me like it blends it and it is natural hair though but it blends it itself and it doesn't ever pick up whatever's underneath it just it looks really good this brush doesn't fail me for blush I love this for blush this is probably one of my favorite face brushes right here and then you know you know what my favorite eye brush is the 29 because I have such small hooded eyes this brush for lining is perfection from the fact that it's like I don't know if you can see this but you see how teeny tiny that is like it's just perfection there's some brushes that are close to it like Sigma has one but the bristles are longer um Morphe and Jaclyn Hill has one again longer but that which both are fine I can use them but that brush is absolute like perfect they just for me and the you know what the way I use it it's just like the perfect detailing brush for lining but I think overall the look turned out really well so my thoughts on these two I think the formulas are good. I think that the color stories are beautiful. 
I don't know. I think, personally, personally, out of these two, I, I like this look out of this one today better than yesterday's look that I created. But with that said, I went more green with using this palette. And I think if I would have went more with that shade right there, that pink one, that I said I wanted to just put all over my lid, um, I think it would have been a different story. Because green's really not my color. And I'm not very comfortable in it. So this look I'm more comfortable in because I love pink. I love purple. I love browns, you know. So I think it could have been a different story. But... I kind of like them both equally, but if I had to choose, like, which one would I really use more, it's probably going to be this one I'm wearing today. Yeah, it's going to be this one. It is. But I still love this one. So, the Starstruck Splendor, I still love. But I do think that the Jewel Temptation, I would use more. So those are my thoughts on these two. I do love them. I love the blushes. Absolutely. That, that's my favorite thing. Now, is that one blush worth that amount of money? No. No, it's not. Absolutely not. But, you know, I have to find happiness somewhere with this splurge of money that went out the door. Because it was a lot of money, y'all. A lot of money. All right. So next, we will be doing the four five pan palettes next so you know what Monday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday. this is oh my goodness six days of Pat McGrath am I really complaining though not really I do like her formula so tomorrow we'll move on to these and see where we're at with it I think I probably could have skipped on these I'm not gonna lie but I do think that these are cute and I do like the fact she got it at a price point for everyone I don't know if we needed this many but I do like it and if I was going to travel I think I would feel more secure traveling with these a because it's a lower price tag so if something was to happen i wouldn't be so heartbroken but at the same time i think i'd be heartbroken because like these are limited editions so i don't know not for sure but i am having fun making looks using pat mcgrath again so and then i got the like i said i got the new natasha denona palette also to do a review on i don't I feel like I need to get through these first before doing that one. I'd hate to just stop doing these and then go straight to that, you know? But, I might. You never know. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I set... My foundation is the Tom Ford foundation, which... Where did it go? Oh, Lord. I've lost it. That's good tell me how I've lost a hundred dollar a hundred and some dollar foundation I had it right there anyway it's the Tom Ford for concealer it is the Natasha Denona I set it with the Pat McGrath under eye brightening thingy that little white thing and then for the rest of my face I set it with the lawless um, light and then the bronze or the blush everything else you know all right if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all of that we're notified when i upload I upload every day but sunday unless there's a new launch which there's a ton of them coming in so i will be uploading every day i do apologize for the rambling and i will see you in the next one until then stay safe and stay healthy bye